Hi there, it's Ziv from Elementor. Today, I'll show you how to use the checkout widget. The checkout page is an essential part of any e-commerce website. This is where your buyers put their billing and shipping information, review their order, and select a payment method before making a purchase. With Elementor's checkout widget, you can fully customize the design of your checkout page, making sure it matches your brand and is set up to optimize sales. Let's check it out. When you install WooCommerce, it automatically generates shop pages for your store's functionality. I've edited this page in Elementor, but still need to design the checkout. By default, it will look something like this, because it's set to display it with shortcode. That's where Elementor's checkout widget comes into play. It enables you to customize this page however you like. First off, you can set the general layout by choosing to display everything either in one or in two columns. You can also make sure this column is set to be sticky. Set an offset to make sure the header doesn't overlap with it while scrolling. Next is the billing and shipping details. You will see them together if you've set the shipping to be the same as the customer's billing address in your shipping options WooCommerce settings. You can change the text and alignment of the section title. And under form items, you can add specific label and placeholder texts for each field. Next, in additional information, you can choose to either show or hide this section, change the section title, set its alignment, and add items over here. In your order, you can set the section title and alignment. And for the coupon, you can add your own text to help make it more personal. Let's check out payment before going over the styling options. In order to see the terms and conditions message, you need to set a terms and conditions page in your WooCommerce settings. To do this, click the hamburger menu and in site settings, go to WooCommerce. Then search for and select the right page for your site's terms and conditions. OK, let's go back to the editor. As you can see, the terms and conditions message and link text are visible now and ready to be personalized. You can set the purchase button alignment here as well. All right, time to style the checkout and make sure it matches the rest of the design. There are many options over here for you to really customize this widget. Let's jump right in. In sections, you can control the overall style of all checkout parts. Changing the background, for example, will affect the billing, order summary, coupon, additional information, and payment styling. You can give it a box shadow, as well as a border if you like. I'll set it to none for this design. Next, in typography, you can set the title's color typography, text shadow, and spacing. Same goes for the secondary titles. Descriptions affect the shipping and returning customer descriptions if you set that up in your WooCommerce settings. Next, let's style the messages, checkboxes, radio buttons, and links. In forms, you can adjust the columns and rows gap. Style the labels, as well as the fields. You can give them a border too, so they perfectly match your design. Next, let's style the coupon button. You can style it like any other button on your site. I'll also change the border a bit.
much better. For the order summary, you can control the rows gap and style the items. If you've set up variations, you can style them too. You can add and style dividers between the products. Style the titles and totals and add a divider total if you decide you want it. Okay, almost there. Let's customize the purchase button and make sure it fits the rest of the design. Great. Last but not least, we'll check out the customize option. So far, we managed to style quite a lot of this widget. But if you want more granular control over the different parts of your checkout page, you can add them over here. Each one will get a dedicated dropdown with settings for you to customize further. And if you don't need it anymore, you can simply remove it. Let's use it to make the order summary stand out a bit from the rest. Cool. Now that we're done customizing for desktop, let's see what it looks like on mobile. Looks quite good already. Just like any other widget, settings with device icons can be tweaked for various screen sizes. I'll go ahead and adjust the margin a bit, so the order summary fits better. Perfect. One last thing. Let's check out the WooCommerce settings in Site Settings. Here, you can set your shop pages right from in the editor. Simply search for the pages you want your visitors to be sent to. Note that when you drag in a new cart widget and save the design, you'll be prompted with this message, asking if you want to save it as your checkout page. Your changes automatically sync with WooCommerce. Well, that's it. Now you know how to use the checkout widget to fully customize the design of your checkout page. Go ahead, try it out, and show us your awesome designs in the comments below. As always, have fun creating and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tips and tutorials. Ciao for now!